because it was like, hey, we want to go back to live TV because we missed the family atmosphere. Yeah. So they're getting ready in the mini studio right now for because right after our hours, their hours can be pretty awesome. So yeah, yeah. I'm excited to be back. We decided just to turn fan service into a talk show. Yeah. And each week it's going to focus on something someone was talking about. So this week, to kick it off, it's going to be Harley. Well, well, in case you don't know who we are, I'm Gavin. <laughs> I'm Harley. <laughs> I'm Jeffrey. I'm the braided bearded one, Pocky. Yeah, so oh for those who haven't watched I our don't show know why before, I have a braid. We, we're a little out of the, the loop here with how to intro the show. We're, um, we're the energetic <laughs> ones, and Pocky's the killjoy. Yeah, he introduced himself as the Debbie Donner at South by Southwest. And <laughs> he got his butt kicked. <laughs> but, but. I digress. This guy has totally ramped up the He's been the here volume, sitting so he's next really to cool me. Guy. I yeah, love you, Pocky. You know, what, what's sad you. It, you know what's sad is? I sound like a little garbage right now. I just came from a three-day convention where I did six teaching games and two, like, superhero games. So I'm like, behold, evildoers, blah, blah, blah. And, like, I had, like, kids. You feel like got, you're All Might now? It, actually, I, I was, uh, it was All Might at one point. I, I literally had a man. I just realized your beard is braided for the first time. I've never seen you with your beard braided. I, I know. This will be the last. Now. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, so... We're back. No voice. The, the camaraderie's back. We're super happy, but we're kicking off our season nine. This is season nine. This is season Holy nine. Crap. With a brand new website, you can catch all our wow. episodes. But we're starting this week with Japanese demons. Okay, now and I monsters just, and kaiju's. And, and monsters and kaiju. The whole Japanese demon culture, Harley loves. Right? I love it. It's it's super entertaining. Um, I've gotten more back into it. I was out of it for a while. And uh, they've put out some new animes, and I have the Funimation uh -huh. streaming service, so I've been able to watch animes. Which one? Which ones are you watching? Uh, I just finished Bed and Breakfast for Spirits. Okay. And then I watched Kamisama Kiss. Okay. And both of those are really heavily into the demon culture and the atmosphere. See, I've been watching Elegant Apartment Yokai Life or whatever it is. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of the same one. thing. Yeah. And then um, they're over there like, "What the hell are you talking no, about?" No, no. I've been watching I, I've Mob been, Say. Uh, I'm watching all the way through. Um, my Hero Academia for the uh -huh. first time, and I can finally sit through it because it's, uh, it's almost over and I'm okay. <laughs> I'm watching Game of Thrones for the first time, and I'm on, I'm on season six. Um, oh, I'm actually so watching. Better. I'm watching the Mob Psycho, and season two is nothing. What's that but, to do with kaiju? Um, Mob season two is nothing but them fighting uh, kaiju and yokai. Oh well, can I also just say that I love One Punch Man. I finally watched all of season one. Yeah. I can't Giant sit kaiju. It. It's just crazy. I can't, I can't sit through I bald can't sit guy, through bald Goku. So, it, so, what is it that attracts you exactly to the Japanese yokai demon culture thing? Um, so, I've always been really, really into the nine-tailed fox demons. Uh huh. Um, I lived in Japan. That reminds me of Six Love and Robots. There's an yes. episode about that. I, yes. Actually, I love that episode. <laughs> sorry, sorry, good just hunting, had an intro to that. <laughs> good hunting is my favorite episode of Love, Sex, and Robots. That was a great show, by the way. Yes. It was. So, really keep good. going. Um, so, but I've always been really into the demons. And uh, when I lived there, you know, I was a little too young to really realize what was going on. But there was always ghost stories, you know. There's bathroom demons and all kinds of weird stuff. <laughs> so I, this episode is dedicated to the weirdest, my favorite Nine-Tailed Fox demon, but also the weirdest demons I could find. So what is it, do you think, about the Japanese culture that just breeds these, like, you could look at the American demonology and culture lore, and it's like chupacabra. And it's very tame compared to it's the crap tame. from Japan. What do you think it is that makes it so just yeah, bizarre? It's, it's, uh, sure. Uh, you know, just I am still kind of getting really into it. Harley sent me a bunch of uh, <laughs> movies I to did. watch, and I have a huge queue because I, I haven't really watched too much of it. But the stuff I have seen, it's, I don't know, it's just something very eerie about the Japanese-Chinese culture to where their demons are very completely different sided. They're also very specific for a lot they of people. They are very, and which is oh. some of my favorite Ooh. things about them, like American ghost stories. You know, you can always beat it. Yeah. Like Jason, there's always a way to beat Jason. There's a way to beat Freddy. You get to like Mer American the rain and grudge, yeah. and you get to Catico and no. Sadako. <laughs> and good luck. You just infected the they entire They didn't even beat each other. So. And, yeah, and no. demon children are terrifying. But, you know, yeah. American culture demons, they're just like, it's so generic. It's just like ghost it's stories. Recycled. It's all it's yes, recycled in a different you know thing. It's just I don't know, but something about their culture is just it's eerie. Something so, just Pocky? freaks me out. So one, I like the fact that they don't have just monsters and demons and whatnot, and ghosts, but they have yokai, and yokai are not any of those. 
no, very different. different. And, and Harley quick, quick, quick. Can I'm, you can you explain what okay. yokai is? I got this. I, was like, I actually, <laughs> I actually <laughs> have this. I had this pulled up earlier. It's the difference between a yokai and oni and akuma. Um, so if you're familiar with the term akuma, you've probably watched D. Gray Man, the anime. Or play Street Fighter. Or play Street Fighter, yes. <laughs> um, so a yokai is a traditional Japanese demon. Okay. But uh, they're not a monster. Made uh, an oni is an ogre demon. It's very specific. And they are very popular in Japan as the yeah. oni demons. Yeah, um, and then an akuma <laughs> is a westernized demon. Okay. So, okay. And, the, and the other big thing about uh, yokai is where a lot of monsters are made from creatures of malice, like something that was hate or like like a woman that was scorned and died. Yes, and whatever. they are very specific. Yokai can actually just be like uh, an ink pedestal that has been used like for 100 years. And because all these writers poured their souls into their writing, it now has its own soul. So now it's a living thing. Yes. That's actually literally a yokai. Is there like a, is a family umbrella? Like that doesn't want to get wet anymore? That's you know, when it's you're, become a demon or it's something. It's become a creature. Uh, like, um, like how messed up are you to want to turn everything into a demon though? Oh, an umbrella that doesn't want to get wet. Oh, it must be a demon. It's a demon. Right, like where did, this, where did, our, where did all the umbrellas go? Oh, they're they got demon. up and walk away. There actually is an umbrella demon. There is. Yes. What? Yeah, it's, it's a, a, it's a, big, it's a parasol. It's a, it's a parasol. So what do you do? You open eyes. it and then you're like, do, 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 do. And then no, no, it's, you? it floats. It haunts. It, it floats. It's got it's eyes. Got it's got eyes. So people are like in the alleyway running away from... A lantern, even. Yeah. There's actually a, it there's be actually a Japanese ghost that is an infant that... Um, no, nope, I don't do babies. It, I don't do it, kids. It, it I, eats, I can't it, do kids. It, it eats the lantern. No, no, oil. no. I can't even, and then, like... Okay. Oh, no, I got you one for Jeffrey. Just because Jeffrey can't do kids. I can't. Um, there is a demon that imitates the sounds of a crying, abandoned child. No! And, it, yes. and when you pick it up, it eats you. Yeah. No, no, my favorite is... What is wrong you, with people? No, no, my favorite is, have you ever turned a corner and you're like, I don't remember that wall being here. That's a yokai. Yeah. There's a yokai that is just a wall that all it does is move around just to confuse you, get you lost, and let it's you start. It's the labyrinth, Jeffrey. The labyrinth is a demon. Um, so, but, no, the one thing I was going to say, the no. big thing about Japanese nope. mythology, though, is it's still living. Like, there are new demons, even in the 70s. You could say, like, the Greek girl from the ring, but the smiling girl... The, the yeah. split mouth woman is the, my favorite. The split mouth woman was invented in the 70s. Um, she's like, new. I and like, like the, yeah, she's a big part of Japanese Some of mythology. my favorites what? are like yeah. the Yoki Ono, which are the snow women. Uh -huh. um, you know, there's demons of snow scorned women. wives. And See, it's funny oh, yeah. when you hear, them, you hear them talk about it because all of these go from really kind of innocent, like the snow women, to the bazaar, and there was there's literally one I discovered yesterday. It's like a floating piece of rice paper that wraps itself around people's yes. faces. Like, oh, by the way, there's nothing cloth. innocent about that. I can't. I can't. It's, it's, like, it's suffocates you with cloth. <laughs> you know, what I, is I, the deal? I, I will I will definitely say that like you know with all the demons and everything else that they have and so forth like that, I definitely have to say is like I really like their how they are very traditionalized. Yeah. Yes. To where American culture, it's. There's no, We're just nothing. It's just nothing. It so just happens. Let's let's talk about some of these demons. Um, I want to start with Harley. I wouldn't because I always brought up the one with the eyeball. I <laughs> love. <laughs> so okay. we're gonna talk about some of these more bizarre ones. What? All right. So I yeah, called. I, just, right. I called Jeffrey last night, <laughs> and I had to tell him about this. All right, Jeffrey called me. <sighs> and um, so now my new favorite thing around my house is the butthole demon. <laughs> butthole demon. Butthole I demon. I think about. <laughs> we were on the phone for about maybe a half hour, and I think about 20 minutes. Twenty it's, minutes of it. It's was not hard to, saying, to, to freak demon? out Jeffrey. Butthole demon. 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 So, butthole demon. And and remember, yeah. I had right. right. so, episode two. So, Here's the butthole demon. So a Hiroshima <laughs> is an apparition in the shape of a man having an eye in the place of his anus. <laughs> there butthole are these demon. bizarre Japanese like pictures of it, and so, he's like <laughs> crawling on all fours, and there's a giant eye in his butt just staring at you. So he has now become my butthole demon. <laughs> <laughs> Some butthole demons. <laughs> and Jeffrey's like. When I was explaining this to Jeffrey, <laughs> this is his face. When I was explaining this to Jeffrey, I was like, imagine like a guy like bent over with his cheeks spread, and all there was is an eyeball. <laughs> he like, winks at you. <laughs> oh my god, he winks at you all. It takes it wait, takes brown wait. eye a whole new definition. <laughs> Wife turned her brown eyes blue. 
I think I win. I think this is the new pumpkin this, spice. This is the this is the, <laughs> this is the new pumpkin spice. This is a pumpkin spice 2.0 brown hole. Of the bizarre, <laughs> this is definitely one of the more bizarre because someone had to create this this, oh this legend. There's pictures of this. Like There's there are thousands of, of paintings of this guy. Of a dude crawling around backwards and a giant eye coming out of his butt. Like for They're real. They're everywhere. Like there were so it, many we found, and I was like, "What in the world is this?" It makes no sense. And then, are you thankful we're not doing the pictures on the side of the screen. I wanted to do the pictures. You will see them on Facebook. I, I, I wanted to do the pictures. You know, we'll post if, them. if um, I saw a butthole demon, I wouldn't be scared. I'd just be really questioning be my life. Like, no, I'd be questioning my life choices. I'd be like, "What led I, me to this?" I, I, I I'm no longer gay. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> He's like. Don't worry, Jeffrey. There's probably one in the vagina too somewhere. <laughs> so no, no. I'll tea. tell you. I, That's uh, a movie uh, called. Tea. No, no, no. I, I, I know the one <laughs> from vagina. It, it's the baby that didn't leave. Um, so <laughs> I want to talk about this cloth cotton one as well. Okay. Like, I don't understand the lore of this. Is that one, one on here. my thing? No, that's not on my. Cloth hey. cotton. It's a. It's, it's a, a piece of floating cloth. It's and, just like woo, and, and it, it wraps just, itself around your face and suffocates you to death. I've seen that somewhere for some reason. It was an American Beauty, but it was a, it was, it was a plastic bag. It was a plastic bag, but this, it, in Japan, it's a cloth. This one is this one is butthole to you, but someone had to think. So no, cloth is gonna kill you. So what? no, but because it just all it had to do was one day like these guys walking around like it a could be like there could have been just, a, like, like a clothesline uh, and they yeah. walked into a clothesline and suffocated. Or, or, okay, we thought he was so gonna Why like, can't we just walk around and blame everything on demons? Like for real, like oh, it's because, a poor demon. Because America is a very Christian-based culture, and if everything's a demon, then what everything is, is considered Satan. All right, Harley, what else do you have on your list? All right, oh, wait, so wait. um, we'll get to Pocky after this one. I you have, have uh, Hakanako san which is uh, she's a spirit of a young World War II era girl who inhabits in hot school restrooms. Hot school. Hot school. She's oh, like wait, 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 she's 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 not hot school. 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 Hot Oh, so, crap. red <laughs> paper, she skins you alive. Oh! While you're sitting on the toilet. Okay. Well, hey. Oh! Blue paper, she suffocates you. I'm, uh, I'd rather be doing that than getting skinned alive. Hey, hey, no, you know why? Because it's skin life, they can't tell that we died on a toilet. They're going to tell you died on a toilet, bitch. Yeah, they, they're going to know you died. You're going to be like... <laughs> now, now, there have been animes with this character. Yes. There have <laughs> been animes with this character in it, like and some of them are these. kind of hilarious and weird, and... Other of them, you get to see the after effects, and they're great. Is, yeah. is, is this the one that also licks the bathroom walls? No, that is a, that is a child a, demon. There's another bathroom demon that licks the bathroom walls. There are walls. plenty of bathroom <laughs> demons. It reminds <laughs> me of that guy who just randomly started licking someone's uh, doorbell for four hours in the morning. That wasn't me. Quite no, that was here in Austin. And some yeah, no, it wasn't me. Don't is look he at a me. Demon? Is he a demon? He might be a demon. Uh, uh, it sounds like a uh, Japanese uh, demon. No, meth. Meth. It, was it sounds like a Japanese oh, a demon to me. It's a meth demon. It's a meth demon. Okay. We're just making up demons right, here. Pocky, so one. Pocky, what do you, you have? Do I, I have one, and I read this. There are so many that start with a woman scorned. Yeah, oh, yes. don't piss off women in Japan. Don't piss off women in Japan. They'll either turn into a tree and, you know, wrap their leaves around you and kill you or, like, have their baby ghost babies kill you or whatever. Ghost babies. But this babies. one, babies. this <laughs> woman took it to a level that I was, like, I was impressed with. Uh, she tried to get a samurai to fall in love with her. Uh, okay. He's like, no, got on a boat, a rowboat, and rode away. She swam after him, turned into a snake. He went into a monastery, had the monks hide him in a bell so they could, she couldn't find him, sniffed him out, wrapped herself around the bell, started hitting it with her tail till the guy started screaming because his ears were bleeding. When he refused to come out, she breathed fire and cooked him alive in the bell. Kiyohime. So yeah, that's an interesting story. Like that's a whole like thought out plot line for a movie right there. Yeah, yeah. for a demon. Dude, you can literally go. So I have a list of every Japanese demon there is, like ghost, spirit, anything. It's thousands. I can literally, so, literally make billions of dollars in Hollywood making ghost movies so about this crap. I really have to ask, like, what is the fascination of like these 
demons and everything out and they're like penny the treadfuls they're tales of woe it's yeah. don't be a dick the biggest japanese culture is don't be a dick like you spend your entire first year of school learning how to be a decent human being i mean yeah, they're, i wish they're, they did that in like America. there there is huh. no there is no janitorial system there is no yeah because they, they, they have no to clean cooking. their own cat you have to cook your own make their own food yeah everything. you have to serve yeah. your upperclassmen I and mean, this is how it works in that society. Yes. It's, it's literally a tale of woe. Everything is turned into don't be a dick. Yeah. Yeah, and, and half and that whole point of that story was dick. don't 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 reject the woman because if is you there do, a dick demon? There's a dick demon. There's, there's plenty. Demon. There's several dick demons. I'll pull, I'll find you a dick demon, Jeff. <laughs> you could you yeah, put the nice. dick demon and the butthole demon together. I will pass. <laughs> All right. So oh god. I thought it would be kind of fun if we decided to make up our own. Japanese demon. <laughs> oh, um, oh, this is gonna be funny. Okay. So okay. I already came up with mine. We'll I let, can guarantee you, I can find your demon. We'll let Pocky start. Come up. With, what, what so is mine's your... yokai, mm -hmm. and it's an abandoned cell phone, and it will ring. If you pick it up, it will put a tongue in your ear and suck your brain out. You sure that's not already one? I looked. I didn't <laughs> see it, but I mean, I would surprise me if it did. There is a cell phone demon. There's <laughs> Why am I not surprised? There was a demon I came up with, one where it's an email address that was abandoned, and it started uh, sending out emails. That's the plot emails. of Hell Girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, there's th this is why I think this is such a funny part to do, because th literally there's everything is a Japanese demon. So what can we come up with? Like, I think the cell phone's interesting. Yeah, I think the email's kind of funny. Eat your brains. Yeah, Jeffrey. cell phones, email. Hmm, Okay. I'll, I'll let you think. Okay. Yeah, let me think on this one. I wouldn't mind to be a demon, but I wanted to be a rave demon with like little glow sticks and stuff. Oh, and Jesus. Like, you'll see him down the dark alley of the glow sticks, <laughs> and you'll want to go, and you'll never be seen again because you'll be in the eternal rave of hell. Or whatever they I call mean, hell some people there. would be cool with that, though. Can you see little. Oh, I mean, there's, I a, no, there's no, no. a quiver of slain archers. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I got, it. I got it. I got it. He's a raver himself. He's a thing. And he'll ask you, red stick, you know, red orange stick or blue, or blue stick. stick. <laughs> and if you say red sticks, you'll burst into flames. <laughs> if you say blue stick, you're forced to dance forever? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. There is a, oh, there is a cow demon. I got one. That has, it's a cow head with the body of a spider. Nope. Yes, I've seen that. Here it's you go. It's an actual demon, though. Yeah, all right. Nope. All right. All right. You know, I'm going to do my demon laugh. I'm going to okay. do my demon last. Okay, Harley, no, I, you create I have a one. list of billions of them, so go ahead. You, you create yours. Okay. okay, I can't. I can't make one up. Okay, okay. <laughs> For mine, do uh, uh, you know how you like go in an elevator and then there's always that little kid who presses all of the buttons in the hotel? Uh -huh. And it's Jeffrey's like ding, nightmare. ding, 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 <laughs> ding. I, all right, when I was a kid, I used to do that all the time, but I've learned my lesson. Okay, I learned my lesson. Um, but <laughs> I might have done it on Pocky once or twice. Um, but imagine, you know, okay, so there's a kid that goes in and right before they leave, and as they run out of the building, the, their fingers, joint by joint, falls off rotten and teaches the kid a lesson. Ooh, so it's like an elevator ghost. Yeah, it's an elevator ghost that basically Don't touch my you. elevator! Yeah, until you go to, uh, you go, yeah, in the, in the way to get your, you know, have your fingers stop falling off because then it's your hands and then it's your limbs. What and then your you're basically just demon? armless. Your and demon. it's just basically to teach the kids and a lesson. Toes. And the only way they can uh, redeem themselves is that <sighs> they have to go to the elevator and press the floor that the person wants to go on to for the rest of their lives. Demon. So they're stuck being a bellhop. Yep. Stuck being a bellhop for the rest of their lives. That's pretty good. So we had a cell phone. A cell phone. Cell phone. Right. We, we had the raver. We had the, the, ele the elevator. Can you imagine having like the amount of pain and suffering that would go through a joint by joint by joint by joint by joint? Oh, we're getting a weather alert. We're getting bad bad <laughs> weather alerts. We're 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 in Austin right now. It's a we're, huge. We're we tornado yeah. coming. Guys. All right, Harley. So you you have to create something. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're getting weather alerts from my pocket <laughs> Gavin, right now. Gavin, that's your pocket. <laughs> my phone is off, but weather alerts are forced to come through. Sorry. Um, okay. But I think that's a good idea. So you want me to idea. make one up when I, I need know you to make a, one up. a giant list. Okay. Um, Wait, maybe for Harley we should all give her one aspect she has to incorporate yeah, into it. Yeah, because I, okay. I A cat box. A cat box? Uh, a toy. A toy. Watermelon. Pumpkin spice all over again. Oh, come on. The pumpkin spice yokai would so now there's gonna be. So now there's going to be a pumpkin spice yokai uh, that inherits. Uh, he, he, he haunts a doll of a cat 
And uh, now every time you walk by the cat box, you smell watermelon. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin watermelon. spice watermelon. Oh, gosh. Ew. And then it's got a Starbucks coffee sitting on the table in front of Oh, everyone's making jokes about, you know, bad it's endings. Not, it's not a Starbucks If you guys coffee. haven't seen the newest Game of Thrones, you'll see that there's this huge thing about a Starbucks coffee cup. It's it a, looks like a coffee cup, but it's not. It was from a, a it's, it's pub a local, or whatever. Local, local coffee shop. Coffee shop and in just someone on set North forgot Coast, to take apparently. off an in North Island. But uh, HBO went back and they re-edited it, so it's no longer it's there. It's still on the HBO On Demand. It is, yeah. which is awesome. All right, so that's been our talk about Japanese demons. Lots and lots of fun. I thought that was quite hilarious. I actually I, I am really looking forward to all of the movies that Harley oh, has sent me. Do y'all hear that rain? Yes. Wow. Yeah, we're <laughs> in it. I don't want to so drive that. So uh, those we're are the viewers who are like viewing in. We're in Austin, Texas, and there's a huge storm coming in. You but you know what? It. I we're can back! Hear it. We're back! In the studio, we're guys! Back. And I have to yes. drive home in this! So, I'm here in Leander. We're super excited to because next week is a Pocky like topic. Pocky, what are we going to talk about next week? Tropes. The and overused tropes and what we're tired of. Yes. And so Robin from Mary Sue is going to be a guest because she knows her tropes. Yep. And, so, I, and I'll actually, uh, next week I won't be here because I'm going out of town for a little bit, so Robin I'll will take you. my place. Right? I'll miss you. Yeah, Robin's going to right. place. It'll be cool. It'll be great. It's going to be awesome, guys. She's going to talk about Grease 2 all day. Yeah. And don't forget, hey, guys, we're also, we have a whole entire new website, and it's kaijulabsmedia.com. You yep. go to our Facebook group. You can see all the link there. You can go to our Facebook. The website itself is fully upgraded and everything, so we really hope you guys new, really enjoy was, the new brand. It was a hard transition because I love the it family really terminology, but it, be, it became toxic. And it was not inclusive. Mm -hmm. We and actually I created I like, something. I like kaiju because it's Japanese. Yeah. And so I had to think about it for months. And we were, at, we were in a line at South by Southwest. And I knew I wanted something labs. And the media. The problem with South by Southwest is if you say anything, it's gone in a second. Yeah. So I'm in line and it hits me. And I have this like epiphany. And I'm freaking out. And I was like, what do you want? What? what? So I go into the theater. And I'm on, I'm on GoDaddy buying URLs that are open. I'm like, no, I ain't telling nobody about this until it was all done. Yeah. By and the way, then everybody lost their mind. They're like, this is perfect. By yep. the way, I have a new respect for you and your ability to buy a, a URL. I just bought a URL for a project, and wow. It's a pain in the butt. It, it is. is. Speaking of URL, I need my logins for my URL. So here's a tip, guys. If you want to start something, make sure the URL is available. Yeah. Buy your URLs. They That's what we always do for us. So I just also want to thank... The whole crew who came back out here. We've got our great camera people who are going to be here with us. And we've got a whole production booth. There's a whole crew in the mini studio getting ready for combat and Red Web. And when the Mary Sue ladies are here, they're going to be coming. Like, yep. Mary Sue works it's out really well. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. So we could not do this without everyone that takes behind the camera. And so we just want to make sure we, we, we appreciate all of you. And there's some old faces, some new faces. We're really excited for everybody that's here. Oh, and don't forget, uh, this weekend, if you guys are at Comic Palooza, find me. Uh, I will also be live streaming there, so hope to see you guys there in Houston, Texas. I'll be LARPing. In La I'll be editing videos for next week. I will be working on my URL I bought. We so, have yeah. so many projects. I don't in. know if I, you want yeah. me to say what it is? <laughs> you, no. So, no. 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 We are going to say what it is because he's already bought it and started it. Hold on. Like and that. maybe next season it's going to be one of our shows, so tell him about it. So I started a website. I'm, as everyone knows, I'm a huge tabletop guy. Yeah. I started a website called LearnToRoleplay.com, which oh. talks about how to actually start role playing. And I'm not, talking, I'm not breaking it down by system. I'm talking about how to become a GM, how to be a cheerleader for your game, how to be a player, how to learn what systems and whatnot are proper for you. What do you want to get for your games? I'm going to also be turning that into a TV series where we do the same thing, but as a TV show. That's going to lead to another project that is not going to get mentioned yet, but I assure you, you're going to enjoy all of it. So, yeah. That we, actually sounds like a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to this. We have yes. learned to not talk about our projects out loud very much because nope. certain people in town do like to steal our ideas. We're just going to leave we it at that. you are. But, yeah, That's so why I bought that. I've had a super fun time talking with you guys. Yes. I like this 30-minute format. I really like talking butthole demons. Butthole demons. <laughs> butthole demons. <laughs> we need to make one and just put it at Jeffrey's door so when he leaves, it's an eye staring at I'm him. I was going to hang it in a I tree I am looking forward to never telling you guys where I live because none of we you We all know where you live. Place. You put it all over Actually, Facebook. Oh, that's right. People have been to your house. Sent me to your birthday party. Yeah, that did. We all know where Jeffrey lives. He's not going to get away with this for very long. I'm so. going to stick it on his window. <laughs> Don't forget, right after I'm on this the third is. Floor. Good luck. <laughs> is the, the Mary? Is the premiere of the Mary Sue game? They are doing the Harry Potter showdown. It's Courtney and Alice. 
So you're gonna have good fun with that, and then we're showing uh, one combat. of our favorite interviews from South by Southwest ever. That's right. And then it's Combat Creations is starting a whole new thing where they're gonna be building one thing for a while. Yeah, actually, uh, what we're doing, we're gonna start uh, from scratch, and we're gonna today we're gonna kind of draw out some stuff what we want to do, and then from there we're gonna do a step by step e episode until the end of the season. We're gonna have this big thing that we wanted to make. So it's really neat the way we're uh, taking this, and then. Uh, Brad's Brad West, Red Web is going to be Red doing Web. a month of Embracing the Dark, which is the dark side of comic book heroes, the anti-heroes, the villains. And I've heard him talk. I really want him to do this show. We've been trying to do it for a long time, and it's now set. It's going to be awesome. So that's it. We're about out of time. We've got 30 seconds left. Bye, everybody. Make sure you Bye. hit us up on kaijulabsmedia.com. And thank you for watching. We'll be here every Tuesday at 7.30. Some uh -huh. weeks we have a special for you. <laughs> we do. So it's you'll find out. Fun. It's oh, going to be Oh. You can find the whole schedule over on Kaiju Lives Media. You can see everything mm -hmm. coming up for the month, all the shows, all the fun things, and that's it. So everyone say bye last minute. Bye. 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 Shout out to Shannon, Star Trek, woo, Starfleet. All right, love, bye.